could you please introduce borosil renewables to us so uh, borosil as a group is uh, more than 60 years old was founded in 1962 and uh, we have three divisions uh, within the group we have a consumer products division and a scientific products division and uh, the renewables part which is glass for solar panels borosil renewables limited was uh, the solar glass production started in 2010 and we are the largest at the moment largest non chinese owned solar glass producer in the world what is the potential of the renewables business in india the fact is that if we look at what we inherited in the last generation was a rapidly warming climate and a rapidly polluted polluting world around us and renewables is the only way out where we can harness clean energy for growth we can't sacrifice growth uh, of the of people people want to have better lifestyles especially in uh, emerging countries such as india Uh, and that all lifestyle growth uh, leads to energy consumption growth and india is going to be at the forefront of that so what are the options in front of us we have really either you keep burning coal or you find some cleaner way to uh, to ha- have electricity and therefore better lives for our people so we really have no option but to dramatically increase the renewables uh, say output from the country uh, to give you some numbers India had uh, about uh, 300 gigawatts not so long ago 300 gigawatts of total production of energy and um, electricity that is and uh, the target for just solar uh, is 300 gigawatts by 2030 so uh, what we are saying is by 2030 uh, solar glass or solar uh, energy should be equivalent to the entire india production as it was in 2018 or 2019 so that kind of gives you the scale of the growth uh of of renewables and the potential there on what is so unique about renewables as a business i think what is unique uh, there are two or three s- different things the number one thing is a very new business and this is across the world of course but uh, especially in india uh, renewables really started in 2015 16 um and so it's only 7 8 years old so therefore the, what makes that unique is that you have very little talent who has the background experience of it so we have to grow a lot of the talent from inside and teach new skills and new uh, kind of concepts uh, to to lots of people the other things which are unique about uh, this business is that the cost of production and the cost of energy has been dramatically reducing and therefore it puts pressure in much uh, in a very real way for all manufacturers to reduce their cost of production dramatically do economic cycles or government policies create challenges in operations look economic cycles are part of every business and i don't think we should worry too much about them because that should be a part of the planning uh yes government policy can impact uh, this uh, industry in a big way and uh, you know the typical let's say cycle times for investment here are more than 2 years so you, and then you know after you so you invest today your production comes up in 2 years and then you have at least a 5 to 7 year payback so you would you would need a continuous policy for at least 7 to 9 years in order to justify uh, investment what are some of the other challenges that you have been facing so as far as uh, the production related challenges there is a lot of uh, let's say dumping uh, from china Uh, china has decided or as a strategic initiative that they should dominate the entire supply chain for uh, solar for and therefore everything right from the raw material polysilicon to the finished module uh, i think china controls or owns more than 90% of the world's uh, supply and that makes it uh, challenging because they then have subsidized exports uh, which allows them to uh, you know ship products uh, to various countries across the world at even lower cost than the cost of production in those countries and that has been a, a long term problem for all uh, for all geographies and that uh, has led to very low cost uh, prices and therefore also led to uh, inability of manufacturers in local jurisdictions to set up uh, large scale production many companies feel that being a single player in the industry can often be a disadvantage what is borosil's experience we did not design ourselves to be the single player frankly i mean it just happened there were other players in the market and they shut down because they could not compete with the imported costs from china the i would say the heavily subsidized artificially low imported costs from china um but we were able to survive because of innovation as i mentioned we have 60 years of experience in glass making that counts for something and uh, we were able to out innovate uh, anybody else um 
so uh, you know it's a free market and we we would love to have other players for sure when you have other players the problems of the industry uh, the government would hear uh, in a better way because they don't think they're going to favor any one player but the industry as a whole so um I mean, it's not in our control, but uh, I look forward to the fact that we will have an association in the future where we can represent the issues, the genuine issues that uh, uh, our industry faces together with other players as well. Please tell us about the innovations that Borosil has done to overcome the various challenges you spoke about earlier. Uh, we have, uh, like I mentioned, 60 years of glass manufacturing experience. We really broke down every element of the cost uh, structure and uh, question uh, really outside of the box why do we need to do things in the way we're doing it what can we do different to change this what can we do different to dramatically reduce cost of production and i would say the team responded brilliantly to that and uh, we had patents coming out of this so we were able to innovate uh, our production processes in a way to reduce cost of production which then enabled us to compete uh, in the market and not just survive but thrive because uh, after having these innovations in place we were able to prove that for uh, say in the last 3 years uh, you know we have been able to have a margin which allows us to grow what innovations are you planning for your next growth journey so we are 180 tons per day of production till 2019 and at the moment now we are in 2023 we have 1100 tons in india plus another 300 tons in uh, in in europe so we have 1400 tons of production of glass compared to just 180 Uh, in 2019 so we have been able to grow the organization and uh, that's something which is a matter of pride but also uh, the challenge is not over uh, our vision at borosil is to be the most customer centric company in the world that's our vision and uh, in order to achieve that vision we we uh, we realized that things were going to fall apart as we grew and uh, that's the reason we engaged vector in order to ensure that we can while growing we can still maintain and even improve the customer customer service levels that we have mm-hmm.